Hey guys, welcome to the Whimsical Workshop. I have another unboxing for you. This is the 35th anniversary box from Keepsake Quilting. You may or may not have seen it on their website. Uh, I think they had it out maybe two months ago and I quickly jumped on it to buy it pretty much the day it was announced. Little did I know I would actually have something to do with this box. So let's open this up and let me share it with you. This is the 35th anniversary box for Keepsake Quilting. It is not a subscription box per se. It is just a box to celebrate their anniversary. And I did order one and pay for it. And then after I did that, um, they asked me to design something in the box. So I'm gonna share that with you, but I do want you to know this is something I purchased and it's my review with my opinions. First things first, let's look at the actual packaging. I mean, how adorable is this packaging. It has all the little quilt box. I mean, these could be inspiration for ourselves to make something. Um, you know, if you wanted another block design, or you could make every block on the box, and who knows, make it into a quilt. But, needless to say, the theme of the box fits. It's gold for the anniversary. So let's see what we've got inside. So I've gone ahead and I've opened the tape so you guys didn't have to watch that. And here we go. So first things first, we get a thank you note from them. Thank you so much for being a part of the Keepsake Quilting and Notions family for the th past 35 years. We appreciate your business and look forward to serving you more great fabric, kits, and notions for the next 35 years. And then there is a little list of what's in it, but we're gonna set that aside because I wanna open it with you and see what we've got. So again, because this isn't a subscription box, it is a one-off box. I really am not sure what to anticipate here. I think it was just their way of putting some goodies in a box and sharing the anniversary. So let's see what we got. Oof, so far, so good. First, we have candy. Who doesn't like candy? So let's see what's in this box baggie first. All right, so we got some sugar. We all can use sugar. Um, these are hummingbird butterfly mix seed seed ball plant me to grow herbs the seeded paper is embedded with seeds soak the confetti in water for an hour spread and cover with a quarter inch of good soil um, keep the soil moist until seedlings are well established paper will recycle into the soil so how cute are those so we got some little herb seeds uh, a purple thing which mine here's the card for it I cannot tell you enough how much how important these are I have them at my machines I have them in my carry-on bags um, this little end here is a quarter inch seam allowance. I use this as a stiletto to push stuff through. I use it to poke corners out. Um, I am sure there's all kinds of other things I don't know what to do with this thing, but the purple thing is in the box. Oh, another sucker. Three suckers. All right, keepsake quilting post-it notes. There's a theme, keepsake quilting, and a pen. So, and I'm assuming it's just a, yeah, it's just a black ballpoint pen who with a nice grippy grip and there you go a little quickie face so some little office supplies came in the baggie with the candy and the seeds then we've got and I know it's hard to see with the reflection of the bag so let me get this open we have it looks like oh look at that Enclosed is a one yard cut of Amish black. Our exclusive Amish black is the best seller for a good reason. It's true black through and through, which means when you cut it or you flip it over, it's not a black dye on a white sheeting. They, they've they even, I think it's from the thread itself. Uh, once you experience the look and feel of this beautiful fabric, you won't want to sew with any other black. Um, and they do apparently carry it for purchase, one and a half yard strip, or I'm sorry, one and a half inch strips, two and a half inch strips, five inch squares, and 10 inch squares. So there is a whole yard of Amish black in here. Set that aside. Then we've got, oh, that's cute. Look at that. Little pumpkins and stuff. So this is from Pineapple Fabrics. This is a one yard cut of 100% cotton fabric, a little something extra from our sister company. Uh, Pineapple Fabrics is owned by the wife and then Keepsake's owned by the husband. I think they own everything, but uh, I know Dottie isn't the captain of that ship over there. 
So here we go. If you can't find something at Keepsake, Pineapple Fabrics is also a great resource. Check out their exclusive bonus quarter bundles um, that are 21 by 21 instead of 18 by 21. Like a fat quarter, just bigger. Uh, pineapple packs made from various pre-cuts with patterns included every 3,000 fabrics. Oh, I'm sorry. Pineapple packs made from various pre-cuts with patterns included. I just kept rambling on there. Over 3,000 fabrics by the yard, monthly clubs, and exclusive digital patterns. So we've got this, and I'm going to actually slide off the lovely pineapple band to see who this is from. This is Live Within Your Harvest um, from Leanne Anderson and Caitlin Kubler, and they are a whole country caboodle. This is a Henry Glass fabric. It's a nice, pretty fall fabric for a fall a fall arriving box. So in the end, we got two yards of fabric, which is lovely. All right, now we've got a bunch of papers. Let's see, we've got an advertisement for their gold club, which I will look at, though I don't buy a whole lot. Right now, the most I'm buying are subscription boxes and I'm sharing with you guys. Um, but there is a whole thing about the uh, Keepsake Quilting Gold Club. Um, you pay a yearly fee and you get all of these wonderful things. The one that pops out at me is free shipping on orders over $20 in the US. Um, that right there is a super great savings because as we all know, postage is going up. Then we have, oh look at this, a $10 gift certificate to Keepsake Quilting. Uh, let's see here, online only. I'm just seeing if you have to buy a minimum. Cannot be redeemed as cash, that's a thing. So no, you don't have to buy a minimum, I don't think. Make sure you read yours, make sure I'm not missing it. But $10 to go spend at Keepsake. So we add that in there. Then we have this, the big surprise. This is what I got to do for them. This is the 35th anniversary pattern book. And in this book are three quilts from three designers. I'm one of them. And I designed this one right here. It's the 35th anniversary cake. Um, used all really bright, solid colors. Um, you can use your Amish bat black in the background. Um, it's a very, very fun one. And then these two quilts, let's see who they're from. It's a really nicely printed catalog, or book, I should say. Uh, the algorithm quilt was um, gun, I'm gonna kill the names. It's from Gee Designs. It's Gundren Elra. I, if I killed your name, I'm so sorry. And then Star Spangled is from Barbara, Barbara Churn, Churna Chan. Oh my gosh. She's Coach House Designs. So let's just say Gee Designs and Coach House Designs. There's another really nice, oh, that came out very nice. There's the nice picture. It was super fun to design this. Um, but I did, I was out of town, I came back into town and they wanted the real thing, not just a digital. And I popped that puppy together in a day and I had um, my friend quilt it and it took her a couple hours. So it could become a weekend project if you really need to. And I know, and we're gonna go through here real quick, that I gave them all the alphabet and numbers. So you can change the 35 and you can add a name on here. You have the, all of those templates right here to personalize this to what you want. Um, and that was my goal designing the quilt. So let's look at the other one. This one here is called Algorithm. Oh, how sweet that is with the sweet puppy laying on top. And there it is, Gee Designs, if you want to go see her other stuff. Um, and this one is using 10 inch squares. And there you go, it has everything in there. So you can use a layer cake for that. And then we have Coach House Designs did a Star Spangled, and I believe uh, this one also uses ten, a layer cake or 10 inch squares. So two projects for layer cakes. My project, you can use part of the layer cake, um, but if there is some yardage involved. I wasn't, um, I didn't design it to be a pre-cut. No, they have an app designer on their website. So you can just go ahead and plop in fabrics and see what it'll look like. So here it is in soft, pretty colors. Both of those are can be very scrappy quilts. Um, and there we go, that is the booklet. Again, very proud to have one of mine in there. 
Um, yeah, it was kind of funny. I bought a box to have one of my own patterns, but the rest of it is all goodies for me. So then we have the Keepsake Quilting and Notions Up With Your Sewing Game Creative Grids Rulers. This is just a, a flyer that's talking about the different rulers. Uh, yeah, so if you want to know more about the different rulers, it tells you everything about it. If you can actually read that super tiny print without glasses, which I don't have on. So this is kind of, um, oh, there we go. There's a whole wish list on the back. So you could do your inventory of rulers and mark this. Um, but this is really more like an advertisement to me. I don't really, it's not really a goodie for us. Um, then we have the, oh, so this is the Keepsake Quilting and Notions. They have wide back wednesdays every week on their um, newsletter this is a catalog showing you all the oh those are really pretty i digress um, these are all the different wide backs they seem to have in stock right now so again this is just a catalog showing you the wide backs um, and hand samples so you can feel what they feel like from the different manufacturers so they have wyndham Henry Glass, Blank, Wil Wilmington, PV, and Northcott all on here. So you can actually feel how high quality these backs are. And then you can use the catalog to shop. So this is more of an enticement to get you to buy backing. This is more information about how many rulers could you possibly need. I don't know. I have thousands. Um, so these are kind of more, this too, this was more of an ad. So we're not really going to consider those goodies in the box. Um, but more they were... Uh, some ads because again it's their opportunity to talk to us so i'm not surprised at all that they would give us some of those and then the final thing in our box is the 35th anniversary layer cake these are 10 inch squares from keepsake i'm assuming it is the something that they put together in house um, and let's just kind of flip through here i want to make sure you guys can see these so Let's clean up our little mess here. And I am going to zoom in. If I can figure out how to make camera zoom in here. There we go. All the way in. There we go. How's that? Now we can all see what I've got. So let's just start at the top. So we have a pink modeled. And then we go into pink geograph ge uh, geographic geometry squares we've got some flowers and some stripes so these are all like very soft pretty pinks we've got the rust the red so it is kind of a range of fabrics it is not one collection um, they've curated a bunch of different pieces so basically you have a scrappy quilt in a pile here um, which is kind of fun because i'm not very good at picking fabrics for scrappy quilts so we're just going to keep going here that's really pretty Oh, that one's pretty too. So you do kind of have some modern, some floral, some basics. That one's very pretty. So it looks like there are actually 42 different prints in here. So you can use them all together. You could break this up into smaller projects. Um, but it's kind of nice that they're all different because then I, um, you know, you don't have repeats. Uh, and there's always a fabric and a layer cake that I'm like oh I am not crazy about this fabric and isn't that always the one that there's two of so it's kind of nice that these are all individual uh, let's just keep flipping through here lots of pretty fabrics lots and lots of pretty fabrics again not a set to go together if you're looking for a planned quilt but if you want to make some of the scrappier quilts which they have given you two patterns to do a scrappier quilt you do either one of those with this and have a really fun, fun quilt. There we go. Just flip through the rest of them. We're kind of getting into some primitives. We go into the white. Oh, that's pretty, it has glitter on it. Gingham. And then we get into the darks. And I always, I've seen this one. This is a, um, a Northcott one from their Journeys collection and it's a batik with little airplanes on it. So cute. Um, and then the final one is this wild one. So you do go from modern to floral. So it is a mix. But again, scrappy pattern, scrappy fabrics. So let's take a look overall what we've got. We have, um, let's see what they said they gave us. 42 piece, 10 inch square print collection. Uh, these usually retail for about $40 a piece. Um, then we have the pattern book with the three patterns. Most of the, they don't give you any values on here. Most of these would be retailed at 10 or $12 in other boxes. 
uh, we have a $10 certificate that we don't have to spend more than $10 to use, which is really nice. A lot of times you get these coupons and they're like, here's $10, but you need to spend 50. And then we have two yards of fabric. We have the Amish black and the really pretty fall one. Our candy, our seed pack, our post-it note, purple thing, and a pen. So it's a nice little collection. The box was $35. Uh, so there's lots of little things you could do here. Plus you have the other items that they threw in just to kind of educate you about their company and what they have. Um, and it's, you know, overall it's a decent box. So I do not think these are available anymore, but I wanted to share it with you and let you see what it looks like overall. And let me zoom out here because you know, I showed you all these goodies and did not actually have my camera zoomed out. There we go. So there we are, there's all our goodies. Um, it was fun, it was fun to get a box in the mail. Again, any time that you are buying a blind box, especially in the quilting industry, you have to have an open mind about what kind of fabrics you're going to get. Um, if you really, really, really are set on your type of fabric and you don't want any outsiders into your fabric collection, subscription boxes are probably not your cup of tea. Um, I personally, because I am asked to design with a million types of fabrics, I like all fabrics. I don't really have a, um, I do have a favorite, but for the most part, I like to work with all fabrics. So I'm very happy with this. Like I said, I really do like that fall print. Um, so let me know what you think. Would you purchase a box from Keepsake after looking at this one? Do you like seeing these un unboxing videos? If you do, make sure you like and subscribe. I have a whole unboxing playlist down below that you can check out for other quilting and other boxes that I have opened. Um, they're all in craft or quilting. Trust me, I don't do like soap boxes and food boxes and stuff like that. Um, but make sure that you also hit the bell if you want to see every time I do a video, it will let you know I have one posted. And as always, I thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.